Praise God. All right. I see a lot of activity going on uh, in the uh, chat room. So if you're sitting on the sidelines just listening, hey, get involved. Yeah, that's going to take a miracle, right? <laughs> I mean, I got enemies that listen, you know, and they're not they're not going to be. Yeah, they you can't pay them enough money to let their uh, faces be seen. <laughs> you know, they're afraid I might meet them, uh, you know, in uh, one of the states or something. And yes, I'll. Asked them, you know, yeah, I call it out. Sin is sin. But, hey, we're talking about uh, miracles. Yeah. Do you believe in them? Have you saw one? Mm-hmm. Very interesting, ain't it? Because I think it'd take a miracle to get people to call and share their testimonies. I really would. You know, <laughs> I've cried out faithful for over months, you know, and, and, and just say, hey, Guys, be faithful once a day. Call and share your testimony and let the world know that God's not dead, that he's alive and he's active in your lives. So if he's done, if you've experienced a miracle, you know that comes from God. I mean, no other way will a miracle take place. You see, a miracle. I'm talking about something that man can't do here, friends. I'm talking about science can't figure it out, and nature, it it can't even begin to explain a miracle. A miracle is when the hand of God reaches down and gets involved in your life. Think about it for just a few moments. Have you had a miracle? Have you experienced a miracle? Do you know someone that has? If they have or if you have, I can guarantee you, it will change your life forever. I'm talking about a miracle. Uh, yeah, that will change your life forever. You see, the greatest miracle that ever took place to me is when I got saved. Yeah, that was the greatest miracle for me. Because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Lord thy God manifested and held me. Jesus and the Father, they come and visited with me. You see, and there ain't a, there ain't a demon in the pit of hell can take that away from me. On that old country highway many years ago when I was 17 years old. No, it wasn't drugs. I wasn't drunk. It was a real bona fide miracle. Because when I cried out, and I said, Lord, I need to know if you're real. I need to know for me. I've heard so much. But, Lord, I'm, I'm tired of looking over my shoulder. And I began to cry out for me. I'm telling you, God's not dead. He's alive and he lives forevermore. He told me to just simply go and tell the truth in the simplest form, which is his word. Don't complify the word of God, my friends. You know, I mean, it's going to take a miracle. Yeah. A move of God, a miracle, to get people to just be faithful to the Word of God. Not hearers only, but doers. It's going to take God to intervene in their lives. You see, no matter how hard I try or how hard you try, <laughs> we just can't do it. Nah, because we always stumble and fall and mess up. That's why we tell people, hey, don't put your trust in me. Put it in Jesus. You know, Paul said it best. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. You know, when you find an anointed man or woman of God and you get involved in their life, 
that's great and wonderful. And thank God for the fellowship and the brothers and the sisters that walk in obedience to the Word of God. But when you see somebody straying away from the Word of God and the will of God, you pray for them. You go to them and you tell them and you pray for them. But you, you don't follow them to hell. You got to understand this. I'm talking about miracles today, right here on the Gospel Music Jukebox. Hey, if you've had one, experienced one, or if you believe in them, would you dial 1 931 229 0768 and share that with us? Let us know what God has done for you in your life. Let the world know that you're not ashamed to stand and proclaim His holy and righteous name. Saying God bless you, welcome home Steer me on the righteous pathway Help me humbly to abide Hold me to your precious bosom Let me walk, Lord, by your side We're going to jump over here and check our phone line out, amen, and see if we've had anybody call today. I can guarantee you old brother Boyd has. He's as faithful as my right hand is, amen. He's, he's He just loves the Lord, and he's like myself. He loves to share the gospel, and he loves to share the the adventure that God's gave him and that God's put in before his life. He gets all excited. Sometimes he's like me. We get plumb beside ourselves when we hear somebody, anybody standing up and telling the mercies and grace and love of God. All right, let's see. Yep, we've got one right here from Brother Boyd. All right, give this a listen and be blessed, my friends, in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. God bless everyone who listens to the Gospel Music Jukebox. I love you all, and I've been praying for you all each day. This is Brother Boyd London in Idaho. I was calling in to uh, talk about a miracle. Uh, first of all, though, we have a couple prayer requests. Uh, Adna, Isabel, and I thank you for the prayers, continued prayers for the visas to get approved with the caseworker there uh, down in California uh, so that those visas can get approved and go through and they can uh, be able to come over here soon. So we thank you for the prayers for the visas. My grandma yomi has been having heart problems with an irregular heartbeat, and uh, they can't give her medicines. They think the medicines might kill her if they try to regulate it with medicine. So we need prayers for grandma yomi's heart to be healed, and we thank you all for the prayers. But um, Psalm 103 says, God forgives all our iniquities and heals all of our diseases. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5 says, By the stripes, wounds, and in the name of Jesus Christ, we are healed. If we have faith and believe that God can heal us, can we be healed? Can there be miracles? I do believe that there can. I believe our God is a powerful and mighty God who can, who can heal and who does heal. If we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can say that this mountain be moved, taken up, cast in the sea, and it will be done. Luke 18, 27, what is impossible with men is possible with God. If we bring faith and his power into our lives, I believe that we can be healed. Uh, a couple of months ago, Kathy Dormus uh, down there in Boise, Idaho, uh, Nampa, Idaho down there, had horrible problems of bleeding out of her intestines and uh, a bunch of bumps and stuff in her colon. I think that they thought it was probably pretty severe colon cancer. She was having horrible problems. She couldn't even sleep. We put a prayer request in our groups for Kathy. We all started praying fervently for her to be healed. And uh, she was scheduled to go in for a colonoscopy and pro possible surgery for that cancer but the night before when we were praying she was laying in her bed and she felt a warm feeling come from the top of her head down to the bottom of her feet she felt warm and felt that healing feeling and the bleeding stopped the pain went away and she went in for the scans the next day and they could find nothing wrong nothing at all not a single pulp not a single bump not any bleeding nothing she was miraculously healed. This was a miracle. The healing power hit her, healed her, and she was healed. That is a miracle. 
Praise God. God is good, and God bless you all. Kathy, again, uh, had shared that testimony with me, and she thanks you all for the prayers for her when we got her healed there. She said, God can heal anyone. God can heal. Amen. God is good. God bless you all. Once I traveled down a road that leads to despair, I fell at the wayside and you were waiting for me there. You took my burden, picked me up and turned me around. You said, follow me to Calvary's tree, salvation. Now I'm free from the bondage of sin Washed in the blood, some wondrous day I'll live again The victory's mine, for you won it for me Can't hold Are you free, my friend? Hey, pick up the phone, dial one 229 768 and let the world know who it was that set you free. Amen. Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, whom the Son has set free, is free indeed, my friends. Hey, we want to welcome in our new uh, listeners, uh, Jessica. Uh, uh, look like you were invited over. Amen. Uh, make yourself at home. You are in the Lord's house. Amen. Right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. We just love to uh, worship the Lord. We do that in song, word, and testimony right here. Amen. I'm your host, Evangelist Eddie Cheney, saying God bless each and every one of you. Uh, uh, Brother Monroe, I believe, is in the room tonight. God bless you, brother. Brother Philip, uh, wow, both Crystals and Brother Boyd and, uh, man, uh, Jessica. And, uh, man, we're just being blessed all the way around. Uh, please remember that um, uh, I can't back my chat up when I'm running the soundboard. So as it goes by, if I miss it, I do apologize I'll try to get back uh, to it and recognize you, but know that God knows you're here, even if I miss it, <laughs> amen, uh, or if I miss a song request. Um, sometimes I'm I'm reading the Bible, plus playing the soundboard, plus answering my prayer phone here at the, the ministry, amen. Remember, if you'd like to have live prayer, amen, uh, with, with me or one of the volunteers right here, uh, at the Gospel Music Jukebox, you can dial one 210 if you feel you need live prayer. But uh, right now, if you're on the radio listening live, just post it right there in the chat room. Man, there is an awesome team of prayer warriors in there right now. And I'm telling you, uh, God's not dead. He's alive, and He lives forevermore. Amen. So uh, if you got a prayer, 